So one key evolution that has happened is that we have permanently dropped the word natural from disasters. Hmm. Now we recognize that disasters are not natural. Hazards may be natural. An earthquake may be natural. Uh, a cyclone may be natural. But it becomes a disaster because of a whole range of human actions. Uh, an earthquake which happens somewhere in the sea and affects nobody is just a natural hazard. It's not a disaster. It becomes a disaster when there are people living in earthquake-prone areas. And when people living in earthquake-prone areas are living in buildings which are weak buildings, which cannot withstand earthquakes. So living in the earthquake-prone areas and making weak buildings are human actions. So essentially, disasters are all man-made. So I think that's one key change that has happened. It is widely accepted and recognized that something happens in our society, in our social, economic, political, cultural system, which turns a hazard into a disaster. So that's a big realization. A movement towards taking a systemic approach. Uh, we can no longer look at disasters or impact of disasters in an isolated way in one location, in one sector. And the current pandemic is really highlighting how impacts can ripple across the world, ripple across different infrastructure systems, uh, not just within a country, but across the world. We are a more interconnected, interdependent world. So a systemic approach is really key. In a cyclone-prone area, when um, a power system, electricity supply is disrupted, it's not just, just the electricity supply that is affected. If you don't have electricity, the telecom system will go down as well because the power backup you know, will not last beyond a few hours. If the telecom system goes down, then your ATM machines will not work. Yeah. If your ATM machines don't work, then you uh, people don't people who don't who are not even looking for assistance. They just want to draw their own cash. They won't have access to cash. When you don't have cash, markets stop functioning. Manufacturing units stop functioning. So, so it is really important to take a systemic view. We no longer look at communities as victims. We look at them as um, principal actors of disaster risk mm. management. They have to be in the driving seat. They are not subjects of our interventions. They are principal actors. And if you want to work with communities, we have to use what exists at the community level before or after a disaster as the starting point. It's people's resources, their imagination, their initiative, that is the most important thing. That is the starting point, not an external intervention, not an external input. Only piece of advice I will give is that talk to people. Talk mm -hmm. to people who are at risk. Talk to people who manage risk every day. Talk to people who are living with risk, who have been affected by disasters. There is no substitute to that. I think I can give you a reading list, uh, but you know, going out there in the field and being with the people and listening, asking questions, there is no substitute to that. And your best work will always come on the basis of insights you gain from talking to people.